Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, things are a bit different right now. There's a little bit different in the background. You still see all the bottles though, but we have a table now in front of us where everybody can see the bottle sitting here. You can see the glasses sitting in each place of what we're actually going to be drinking. And we got matching glasses. Today. And the Miller Light. We we've, do been, have... we've been trying for an hour to get this set up perfect. Yeah, we've been trying to get this set up perfect for you guys. The ring light, the big lighting, everything else like that. But it's new. It's different. We're trying it out. Let me know how you think. Or Hopefully what you like think it. And, and we're going to start doing cocktails and stuff soon. Different mixed drinks and stuff. And it'll be a lot easier with the table right here to be able to see what we're doing while you can still see us. Especially... Also, if I start doing these challenges here soon where I eat hot stuff or whatever, I'll be able to have it on the table so it doesn't look like I'm you're, cheating. You're going to start eating hot stuff. Yeah, no, that's why I think it would be fun. <laughs> I'm a pansy when it comes to hot stuff. It, if it's hotter than a banana pepper, I think you should I'm try done. like drinking challenges before you. Drinking challenges? Yeah. Right. We'll do everything. I feel like drinking challenges apply to us. But the 10 shots in 60 seconds, I think we'll pass on that one. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that one. Maybe, we'll pass on that one. Maybe like a like a five shot or something. Yeah, we'll do like a five shot in sixty seconds. I can probably do that in thirty. But yeah, <laughs> we just don't want to get too tore up to where somebody has to carry us home. Yeah. But we are going to be ending a bottle today. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet or not, but if you haven't, go check it out. We've done a taste test, or I did on larceny. It was a request from a buddy of mine that I went overseas with, named Jeremy Edwards. It's a really cool guy. Was, um, I forgot it. It was a request. It was a request. We bought it. It was an easy find, actually. It was easier to find this than it was to find the Jameson that everybody wanted. Actually, I and think it was did, easier did to I find. Get, did I get Larson or did you get it? I can't remember. That I was the day we that got, we, got it, we, we got it. Yeah, we got it the same day. Yeah. So we're gonna be drinking this today. Uh, there's just a bit left in here, so I think we might end up getting two parts each. Heck, we might not even finish it. Yeah. So that's right there. See, I like that because you guys get to see what we see, and you get to see the table, you get to see the bottle, and I feel like it gives you guys a better visual of what we're actually doing. I do apologize for the echo. Whenever you hear this, it's probably going to sound like I'm fist banging in a freaking <laughs> igloo or something. Well, we did a test video earlier, it actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. But hopefully, we um, get that situated, put some more stuff in this room that we. Uh, I do not remember what this tastes like. And it's it. just a spare room. Don't worry. Don't fret. Nothing like that. It's just a spare room to make my videos easier so where I don't have people walking in on me during my videos. Hasn't happened yet, but I just feel like it's inevitable to happen. So now I have my entire own room dedicated to you guys. And now everybody definitely knows that Miller Lite is our cleanser, apparently. Yeah, Miller Lite <laughs> is our cleanser. If your whiskey's a little bit too strong, don't mind to hit you with a little bit of Miller Lite on the end. All right, but cheers. Cody's Cheers. first time on the video taste testing this one. We'll get his opinion. I think it's sweet, in my opinion. It is a little sweet. My dried lips. It does not have the burn sweet. that you'd think it would have, based on the based on the way it smells. You would think it would have a pretty gnarly burn, but it doesn't. Okay. It's uh, yeah. I'm getting the sweet, really sweet aftertaste. Very vanilla. Maybe a little bit of cherry in there. Mm-hmm. It's not as oaky as, like, say, your Jacks or your Jims. So you can tell they use a different barrel. A Jack and Jim use their own handmade barrels. When you come into these uh, smaller bottles, kind of like this, they don't use handmade barrels. They use barrels that they can buy that's been used already. Kind of like when you get your uh, Jamesons, that they use their IPAs, their Jameson IPA, where they use it out of IPA casks. Or you get your Stouts, where it's made out of Stout casks. That's kind of how you get Larceny and these other smaller name brands. They borrow barrels. They're like borrowed barrels, if you want to say it that way. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not a good whiskey. This right here, I tried it when we first got this bottle, and I don't remember what it tasted like, but it, well, it is it is really good. A lot of people say the bottom of the bottle tastes a little bit better than the top of the bottle. I do give it that, but I think the reason why the bottom of the bottle tastes better is because it sits a little longer. Especially if... Uh, well, that bottle's definitely gotten shook up. <laughs> it's been shook up, it's been moved around Especially a lot. Especially today. <laughs> it's been on my shelf for probably two months now open so it gets that seasonal not seasonal but seasonal i mean still the sediments taste. in the bottle i mean everything the, settles eventually. when it sits on the shelf at the liquor store you know everything uh, yeah. by the time they open their the case bottom, and then we buy the case and then so on and so on but for you guys if you haven't watched the video yet it's a 46 percent that makes it 92 proof so guys remember if you want to figure out the proof of your alcohol and it doesn't say just kind of double it and you're going to be in the ballpark of the proof 
and <laughs> it's going to be in the ballpark of uh, that range that you're looking for. You don't want a, something that's going to smack you in the mouth. You want something that's going to be smooth. But if you do wind up getting something that smacks you in the mouth a little more than you expect, Take a dab of water, put it in there, or get you an ice cube and cut it in half. Don't put a full cube in. You don't want to dilute the whiskey. You just want to take that edge off. Yeah, I almost want to break the veins up in this just to see what it tastes like. Pour my light in. No, I don't think that's going <laughs> to cut it. <laughs> it's got water in it. I think it's got water in it. But I'm going to save that last little bit right there. My lips are a little dry, so my lips are burning. But this is the end of this bottle. A uh, very, very amazing bottle. The amazing more of it taste. I drink, the smoother it gets. Mm -hmm. That's why I always say in multiple videos, um, just because you tried it once and you didn't like it, try it again mm -hmm. shortly after. You might get a different taste or a different flavor. Don't go out and buy a I think it depends bottle. on your taste buds of that day as to whether you like some whiskeys or not. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't drink scotch every day, but I love scotch. I can drink scotch once in a blue moon, but that doesn't mean I want scotch every single day. Um... But with these bottles, Larceny, I know for a fact, has mini bottles. Go to the store, buy you a mini bottle, try the small bottles before you get a big bottle. No point in wasting money on something you don't even know if you're going to like. But, like on our channel, I always say all the time, I buy it so you guys don't have to, and I try it so you guys don't have to, and Cody buys more than I do, so I don't <laughs> have to buy it. Uh, maybe but, not so much lately. But. Not so much lately. We've been kind of um, reluctant here recently. We've had a lot of changes going on, a lot of things moving. Well, I'm wanting to start doing mixed drinks and cocktails and yeah. stuff. And We're wanting to widen I was the actually, I was change. actually going to get some stuff to make uh, a couple drinks this week, and I just haven't got there yet. But well, maybe if you're not gone tomorrow, too if long, I'm not, Yeah, if I'm not gone all day tomorrow. Tomorrow videos weekend. might be uh, different. Um, I'm on 5%. Well, oh. shit. All right, guys. <laughs> hate to cut it short, but my phone says so. So, guys, remember, if you like the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, send it out to all your family and all your friends. Let's grow this family as big as we can get. But we're going to be ending this Larson bottle. Hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Cheers. <sighs> very, very good bottle, guys. Go check it out. Go buy your bottle of it. Yes. Don't forget that notification bell. It lets you know every time I go live and every single time I post a video. And it'll let you, you know right away, guys. You have a wonderful night, and I cannot wait to see my family tomorrow.